Welcome back to Legacy of the Unknown, where we unravel the mysteries of history. In today's captivating episode, we delve deep into the origins of the indigenous peoples of America. Brace yourself for an extraordinary journey as we explore the most widely accepted theory about the first humans to set foot on the rich lands of the Americas. Get ready to embark on a thrilling expedition through time and discover the remarkable story of how these intrepid pioneers ventured from distant lands to forge a new chapter in human history. Join us as we unlock the secrets of their epic migration and unveil the fascinating tapestry of cultures that shaped the Americas as we know them today. This is a tale you won't want to miss. So, grab a seat and let the adventure begin. According to scholars, the most popularly accepted theory is that humans migrated from Asia to the Americas via the Bering Land Bridge around 15,000 to 20,000 years ago. This theory is supported by archaeological, genetic and linguistic evidence. The Bering Land Bridge was a vast expanse of land that connected Asia and North America during the last Ice Age around 20,000 years ago. It was approximately 1,000 kilometers wide and remained in existence for thousands of years, allowing for the migration of humans and animals between Asia and North America. However, the journey was not a single continuous trip. Early humans utilized the land bridge as a migration route from Asia to the Americas. They settled in the Beringia region for about 15,000 years due to the Ice Age conditions and the availability of resources. The land bridge emerged during the last Ice Age, when lower sea levels exposed the connection between Asia and North America. While the Bering Land Bridge provided a pathway for migration, the journey was challenging and hazardous. Early humans had to navigate harsh environmental conditions, including extreme cold, snow and ice. They also had to hunt and gather food along the way and protect themselves from predators and other dangers. Upon reaching the Americas, early humans faced new challenges as they adapted to different environments and ecosystems. The American landscape differed significantly from Asia, with distinct flora, fauna and climate patterns. Early humans had to develop new hunting, fishing and agricultural techniques, as well as new tools and technologies to survive in their new environment. Archaeological evidence supports the use of the Bering Land Bridge as a pathway to North America. Stone tools and artefacts discovered in various locations throughout South America show similarities to tools found in Asia, suggesting that the first humans to arrive in South America brought their technology and culture with them. One notable archaeological site is the Clovis site in New Mexico, which contains stone tools and animal bones dating back approximately 13,000 years. The Clovis culture is believed to be one of the earliest cultures in North America and is thought to have originated from migrants who crossed the Bering Land Bridge from Siberia. Human remains, such as the Anzic I skeleton found in Montana, dating back around 12,600 years, further support the Asian origin of the first Americans. Genetic analysis of these remains indicates a close relationship to modern Native Americans. Genetic evidence also supports the migration theory. Studies of Native American DNA reveal genetic markers shared with Asian populations, particularly Siberia. Research conducted in 2012 analyzed the genomes of 31 Native American populations, supporting the notion of a single migration from Asia to the Americas. Additionally, indigenous populations in the Amazon region exhibit genetic markers similar to those found in indigenous populations in Southeast Asia, further supporting the theory of migration from Asia. The genetic diversity of indigenous populations offers valuable insights into the evolution of human populations and the role of genetics in health and disease. By studying their genetic makeup, scientists can identify specific genetic variations associated with certain diseases or health conditions, leading to tailored treatments and prevention strategies. Linguistic evidence also supports the migration theory. Many Native American languages share words and grammatical structures with Asian languages like Chinese and Japanese, suggesting a shared origin. The first humans in the Americas established trade networks across the continent, exchanging goods and resources such as food, textiles, pottery and jewellery. These trade networks played a crucial role in the development of early civilizations and the advancement of technologies. Civilizations like the Mayans, Incas and Aztecs flourished, showcasing their advancements in writing, mathematics, astronomy, medicine and architecture. 
Although the theory of migration from Asia to the Americas via the Bering Land Bridge is widely accepted, challenges and controversies remain. Some researchers propose multiple migration events or the presence of earlier human populations in the Americas. Questions about the timing of the migration and the specific routes taken to reach South America also persist. Despite the impact of the first humans on the Americas, controversies and challenges continue to surround their arrival. Preservation of the cultural heritage of early civilizations and the recognition of the rights and contributions of indigenous communities in modern society remain ongoing issues. So, there you have it, the most widely accepted theory about the first humans to arrive in the Americas. Although there are many controversies and debates surrounding this theory, it is nonetheless a starting point to help the human population progress on a positive path. In part two of the origins of indigenous peoples of the Americas, we'll dive into some of the arguments against this theory and the contradictions within. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it informative and thought provoking. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Remember, learning and understanding different perspectives is crucial to building a more inclusive and equitable society. Let's continue to educate ourselves, engage in respectful discussions, and work towards creating a world where everyone can thrive. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.